WUMB-FM at UMass Boston on Columbia Point is the only all-folk radio station in the country. UMB used to present a yearly event known as the Boston Folk Festival. Since last year, they've rebranded it as WUMB Music Fest. And it's happening this Sunday out in Dorchester from noon to 7. Joining me now is WUMB announcer and music director John Laurenti to tell us about the exciting lineup of performers. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Chris. All right. Now, you've been... You're from Dorchester yourself. Born you... and raised. <laughs> paid a lot of money to lose my R's. I'll get them back, I should say. <laughs> so, um, so tell us, first of all, why have they moved this from the fall to this time where it's actually the same time as, as uh, Dorchester Day? Yes. Is it because the university is in between summer session and the regular session? Or um, right? Partly weather. Uh, yeah. A lot of the past uh, music festivals have been rainy and just dreary. We figure the summer is nice and uh, we get to utilize uh, the tents uh, from commencement as well. Uh, this is the second year I think we've done it uh, on Dorchester Day, but it's, uh, it worked out great last year. Uh, we didn't hit any of the traffic. So if you want to see some great music, some great performers, uh, there's a lot of local musicians as well. We've got three stages, uh, two indoor, one outside. Right. You're, now, since you're the music director, I know you're not specifically the music director of the festivals, but why have they changed the name? Is it because they felt that folk, you know, people misperceive folk? Or what, what, what is the scope of the music they'll hear this weekend? Then? That kind of became like a dirty word, uh, and it was not my decision. It was something that had been made prior to my arrival. Uh, but uh, iTunes, for instance, did away with their folk category and have uh, put all those artists into a singer-songwriter category. And it was just to make it more mass appealing because we're not just about you know, folk music, we're about different genres and getting different types of people in there. Uh, you know, prior to my arrival, we weren't playing uh, John Mellencamp and uh, you know, they were playing Neil Young. It's just to get a little broader audience because uh, people that listen to folk, you know, or when they hear that word, it's kind of like, uh, it's just Bob Dylan, there's more to that. Right, and I think you guys have things like world music in there, right? right. So, it's more diverse. More diverse. All right, talk about diversity. Who are some of the people that people might recognize or maybe not recognize and you'd like them to discover at the, folk, at the music fest? Uh, well, we have Kate Taylor. She's uh, James Taylor's sister. Uh, we just had Livingston Taylor do a, a show for us recently, but Kate Taylor's performing. Uh, Amy Black is a local performer. She's up and coming. She is amazing. I'm looking forward to her. Uh, Vance Gilbert, another local artist who is very funny, uh, is actually going to be emceeing one of the indoor stages, I think, but he honed his skill as uh, being an opener for George Carlin, which is wow. a, <laughs> <laughs> wow. pretty hard. Uh, also, Buskin and Bateau, uh, another band uh, that uh, has done phenomenally well. Uh, they wrote a lot of famous jingles that you might know. Uh, they're always fun. And also, Susan Warner, who is uh, big within this circuit of the music we play. I'm looking on the website, I was pleased, I guess, to see that some of the performers had actually attended UMass Boston yeah. and, you know, they'd gone out as a big world and made a success and now they're, they're sort of coming back and, you know, paying back a little bit or whatever, you know. A little bit. I mean, and it's, uh, it's great. We have uh, actually uh, a student, we're doing a WMB uh, little songwriter circle and uh, it's uh, a student, a member of faculty and a member of uh, the campus itself uh, who deals with audiovisual. Now it's in a different place than the folk festivals have been in the far. It used to be in the where the soccer field is, right. but that's all being torn up right now. That's and where the, so the outdoor tent is where the buses come up in front of the campus center, where people can get if people don't know the campus, right. they can take a free shuttle from the JFK stop to to the student center, which is yeah. Right. If you're looking at the center. campus center, we're to the right of that. Yeah. It's where the track field is. Uh, you know, it's the the archive building. It's in between the archive building and the actual school. So it's. A I, nice I noticed field. another thing is for this year, if you come to the uh, music fest, you get to go to the JFK Library for flat free. Which is great, and you have because to go. Because it's a twofer. Right. Exactly, and it's between I think nine and eleven or nine and noon. You have to look at the the printout yeah. on your ticket, but. Uh, it's, they've added so much to the JFK Library, and it is such a wonderful place to be. I and mean, it, it, you can just walk, walk there from the, from the things there. It's a great idea to do that. Right. Now, you have three stages, one outdoors in a tent, mm -hmm. right? And then you have, uh, the, you have a coffee house stage, yes. which is what, on the Ryan Lounge? That is in the Ryan Lounge, yes. Right. And where's the third one? The Lipke Auditorium. Which is pretty. It holds about. Right. Is that in the science feet. center? Yes, it is. And that's the building they're going to demolish. At, at some point. That's <laughs> so why this they're... might be <laughs> the last time you get to hear something in that auditorium. The good thing is parking is free. 
Uh, you're going to have a great time. There's going to be food, um, the vendors, many different arts and crafts. Um, and there's kids' activities. That's another thing. Yes. Music-related kids' activities. So parents want to listen to the music and the kids. Where are the kids' activities going to be happening? I think that is going to be spread out within the confines of maybe the tent. We had it outside last year for a little while. So yeah. it, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's, the way it's set up is wonderful. It's a great day of music from noon to 7. And it's just And, and it's, it's going to happen rain or shine, right? That's why we have the tent. That's so. why have <laughs> Although last year we had a, a, a somewhat uh, storm pass through, and uh, it was it, everybody stayed dry, which was great. So. Okay, so just remind us, it's this Sunday. This Sunday, uh, noon to seven. Right. What's your website? WUMBMusicFest.org. All the information is there, and you can listen to all. You have little buttons to listen to sample everybody until you'll be sold just listening to that. Yes, and it's going to be a great time. We'd love to see you come down and, and bring the kids. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. That's it for this edition of Neighborhood Network News. Chris Love and the rest of the gang will be back here on Monday night. We hope you'll join us then.